every day I'm here. Uh, it is uh, Kojo Brace. <laughs> Samuel. Kojo, is it Braces or yeah. Brace? No, Brace. 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 Yeah, I mentioned the name well. Brace. Brace. Yeah, Bryce. <laughs> who is actually joining me today. But you see, it's a very important matter. Yeah. We understand that the president has summoned or invited the leadership of organized labor to a meeting mm. in a last minute pitch to get them to back down on the planned uh, strike, mm. which is to happen in seven or eight days from today. Yeah. That's on the 10th, right? So today is the 10th. And of course, earlier today, mm. people hit the streets. Yeah. And they are doing so for the next two or three days. So yeah. today is Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Saturday. They will still be on the streets on the same matter. What's the matter? Illegal mining. Now, today we're asking that question because on September 11, the grouping called Organized Labor held a press conference and issued the three prong, with some sublets anyway, uh, uh, demand on the president. Mm -hmm. They mentioned him directly yeah. and asked him to do those three things. Fast forward to today, the end of the month was the deadline. Mm -hmm. they, they appear not to have gotten anything from him. So they declared a strike targeted at the 10th. As we speak today, that's the conversation we are having now. They, let me tell you the exact wording of, when we put out a flag, this is what we said. Weighing the political cost, indefinite labor strike versus ending that I'm saying now. The easy choice that has proven too difficult for Nana Adu Dankwa mm. Why is there an easy choice in there? Because ideally, having to curtail presidents of republics mm -hmm. swear out of office. Mm -hmm. To apply the laws of the country, yeah. to uphold rule of law. Mm -hmm. Without rule of law, we are all in what's called the Hobbesian state of nature. So, our state of nature, no, because I'm bigger and stronger than you, I can beat you yeah. and take whatever you have and you all of that. You bully me the way you want. Yes, mm -hmm. and lawlessness is what prevails. Mm -hmm. But the executive lead of the country has mm -hmm. taken an oath to ensure there's law and order. Yes. So, if our water bodies are being polluted, then of course, essentially, he should drive them out. Yes. Quickly. We should yeah. not even have a conversation about it. No. We should not even elevate it to a strike. Mm -hmm. That's why we say it's an easy choice. Mm -hmm. Because it's not a matter that requires thinking on the face of it. You just have but, to do But. Mm. And years ago, some of us said this. Whenever crime reaches the height of political relevance, mm -hmm. and people use it for electoral fortunes, of course. Immediately, yeah. people start wondering, mm. right? discussing, mm. is it even worth it? Uh -huh. The mandates given to the executive president of the Republic of Ghana, mm. which should be easily executed, clear them, no matter whose ox is God, because mm. that is lawful. That is the right thing to do. You forget about protecting the future of the country. Mm -hmm. So we are asking whether the president of this republic will do the easy, that looks like a difficult thing now, or would want a complete shutdown of this country. Would he want the entire nation to collapse before he gets to appreciate what's really happening on the ground? But because Brace joined me in this conversation, it should be possible for us to... Yes. Brilliant. It should be possible for me to get the understanding clearly mm -hmm. stipulated here that President Akufuado maybe should have acted, acted right long before now. Yeah. And I've always been worried that since the September 11th, the president has had two public appearances yeah. on platforms where illegal mining matters have been raised mm -hmm. by association. Mm -hmm. And then more recently, mm -hmm. GJ presidents call on him directly. Mm -hmm. A president spent no, not even very little, spent no time in engaging or dictating anything relevant that, that, to this Doesn't matter. he feel like he probably has spoken too much about it? And what is needed is action and not words. Because you see... Or maybe assurance. Do you know why? If he told us two days ago, mm. or during the GJA over the weekend, right? Mm -hmm. At least Labour would have been going to their meeting, convinced that the president says he has deployed fifty measures in place, mm. and that he is actively fighting it, mm. and that the issues can be responded in the open. When it does so, we will remind Labour. That ah, by the things you mentioned, mm, the, the gentleman says, says he's doing mm. some work on it. But 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 but, but see, Raymond, mm -hmm. we must face uh, uh, face fact and face reality. Are we at war? Or we are not at war. Yes, we are at war against those who are destroying the future of this country. Even not the future, mm. the now of this country. Yes. 
Because your water bodies are being polluted. Exactly. Now today, you can't even trust the water you're drinking. Today, mm -hmm. Professor Buckpin took mm -hmm. quality time, breaking it down, expanding that hoax that people have projected. That Galamse is the one solving economic problems. Mm -hmm. In fact, on the contrary, he showed proof that we're rather losing a lot of money through illegal mining as a state. Okay. In terms of uh, what they call uh, it, taxes, taxes and all the related. Yeah. Yeah. But you and I, we mm -hmm. are not happy with the amount mm -hmm. of taxes we have been paying mm -hmm. in this country. Mm -hmm. So if other people were paying and ice was reducing, yeah. it would have been better for We, we would have been very excited as a people. Yeah. So, so I'm thinking that whilst we are at war, the decision the president should take, I know it, it will be hard, but when a country is at war, you, you, you kill to defend yourself, don't you? But does it? Don't you, does it I, I know it will be unpopular. Which one will be unpopular? Oh, that, that, that we have to shoot to kill to protect ourselves. Shoot to kill? Yes. My president is. Because in this country. Yeah. As in shoot to kill who? Ah, those on the river bodies. Why? If they are polluting the water bodies that we are not getting safe water to drink and you are killing people, what they are doing is that they are killing people mm -hmm. and we are just standing there and watching them kill. But would that be rule of law? What, what, is, what is the rule of law? The expectation the, is uh, that uh, even mm -hmm. in fixing the problem of this magnitude, uh -huh. you go by the laws of the land. Uh -huh. You are lawful in your pursuit and your engagement. I mean, if you say mm -hmm. uh, people are armed, mm -hmm. like the way they were able to sack water resource commission people, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that Ghanaians, <laughs> an institution of state yeah. mandated by yeah. the laws of this country, they sacked the and check turbidity levels. Mm -hmm. They're not going to sack them all. Yeah. Turbidity levels. Mm -hmm. They were prevented uh -huh. from assessing the water body. So. That we have to be using drone to use picture assessment to determine turbidity levels. Let me answer the question about whether they will be uh, they will be lawful. It will be that. unlawful for you to just shoot to kill. Now, when, when someone, there's no immediate threat to you or when someone is breaching your defense as a country, mm -hmm. do you do you stay there and watch on on consent, do nothing? When the person is also your uh, your citizen, uh, no problem. But the person, even though the constitution mandating to protect the country yeah. has decided to rather work against the country. What do you do? You have to put up a defense. And what is your defense? If you have to shoot to kill someone to protect yourself and protect the country and, and its future, you have to do it. I, I believe that, look, those on the water body have no business being on the water bodies at all. So if they are there and we want to deal with it, we should treat it as though we are at war. Okay. Russia and Ukraine are at war, and they're killing themselves. Yeah. The, the world is saying one is protecting itself against the other, isn't it? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So if we also kill the guys on the river bodies, the world will take it as though we are protecting the country against those who are killing. But have we reached that level? Oh, well, we have. Long have, ago. Have we, have we reached the level where we feel we cannot go and arrest and we, prosecute? We have, we have long ago. You see? I mean, that's I, what the Attorney General and the Chief, uh, Chief mm -hmm. Justice are saying. Have you reached the level where we think we are treated as terrorists? Raymond, you just said. We, yeah. You just said when officers of the uh, water resources went there to check the turbidity, what did they do? They sacked them. Yes. You, you remember? Go with, uh, you remember uh, armed officers? You remember officers have been chasing these people, and some have even lost their lives in this whole chase. In yeah. this whole chase. Mm. Look, we should just declare an operation where the air force will just go over the river bodies and release the guns. And we are not hopeful that next week another set of people will go to oh, the right. same water body. Keep doing it. We keep, keep doing it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Of... We are at war. We have to protect ourselves. This will be an unp unpopular opinion, but, but I don't worry. But I, I don't care. But do you get the impression that the executive mm -hmm. president of this country will do something like that? Because he has to do it. He has been told uh -huh. that it has electoral consequences. No, but they... Almost as if the lives of the people matter less compared to electoral fortunes. No, the, the people of Ghana should understand that if the president does that, he is doing it in the interest of all of us. Yes, that's true. And therefore, whether because of that action you want to vote against him or not, you should think about it twice. Because, and again, if you use even this say, argument, this, uh -huh. this purported, preposterous argument mm -hmm. about the electoral, electoral vote fortunes, let's look at it properly. Mm -hmm. There are about 8 million people on the electoral, almost 90 million. Yes. We are saying that all the 90 million support illegal mining. No. Uh, so there are no senior people in this mm -hmm, country. Mm -hmm. We are that, convinced that, 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 that's that why a party will lose an election because they are doing what is right. Not what is wrong, mm -hmm. because they are doing what is right. And I hope you get yeah, I, I get it. People get removed for doing what is wrong. Yes. But for doing what is right, mm -hmm. we are saying that the party should lose 
and that there are consequences. What they are saying it is because mm -hmm. we have agreed as a people mm -hmm. that this argument is plausible, mm -hmm. that it should make sense to people. Mm -hmm. Oh, if people will call the same Kuma says Siki first, the political kingdom. Mm -hmm. But in this case, it is it is almost nonsensical to think mm -hmm. that you will lose election purely because you are doing what is right. Well, they, they are uh, making this argument based on the 2020 data that they have. I have seen, and that, nothing, that, even so. Mm -hmm very lazy people who have thought it wise mm. that to justify how they failed mm. they'll use some of these excuses okay it, see i've seen people break down mm. some of these constituencies it is not in most of the situations the case yes. okay so you see so, but i mean mm. see in in let's say i was well gone mm. and if we decide to vote against a certain candidate yeah the reasons will vary Oh, yeah, exactly. There, there cannot be a unified thinking. Mm. In any case, I say that even in Ayahuas, West Wagon, even in the Gamsi areas, everybody there is in Gamsi. Mm. Everybody mm. there does not care about the future of their own children. Mm. They want them to have deformed children. They want them to be, what they call it, uh, 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 chasing hospitals where there are no uh, dialysis machines when well, they have uh, my point points is, like that. My point is that we should grow beyond this whole reasoning of I'll lose, you know, vote mm -hmm. when I do it. The president at this stage in time, I am sure, is thinking about legacy. Your legacy won't be leaving the people to pollute the water bodies at the expense of you thinking you lose, a vote or you lose an election. So at this point in time, if I were the president, or if I were to advise him, I will say, Mr. President, let the military guys go on the river bodies. Anyone they meet in sight, the person should be eliminated because we are at war. That's how I see it. If you travel along these river bodies and you see how polluted they are, and you see that the people are still on the river bodies yeah. mining, yeah. then they are determined Some in their efforts. They are determined in their effort to pollute the water body and in that process kill people. Now you say that they are giving birth to people deformed, mm -hmm. isn't that? Mm -hmm. So I should give birth to a deformed baby. Mm -hmm. Someone make his million. Yes. At the expense, uh, he goes to chill with the family and I will bear the brunt. Mm -hmm. And I am also a Ghanaian who should call on the president that my right is also important you to defend Exactly. I also do. So the president should allow the military to go on the river bodies because the river body, nobody gives anybody license to mine in the river body. So if you have been brave enough and you've been, sorry to use this, but you've been stupid enough mm. to think about your pocket and your stomach and no, none, nobody's health or otherwise, we should rather also meet you head on. And that's why I think that we should be using the sledgehammer to be killing the ants. Now, it's very, very important. Because they are killing us anyhow. Look, even for the uh, huge numbers they say they are involved in. Well, well, no, no, we are saying that those on the river bodies go go after them. Because see, I, I, I usually almost every weekend I'm driving on the Pra River. Mm -hmm. In my where I'm from, Hunter West, there's a river there called Butre. Mm -hmm. It is so terrible now. That is a river. When I was in a basic school, we go to fetch and drink. Okay. In my school, in the Osiejo. Yeah. We were fetching from that river, mm -hmm. and that was our source of drinking water. Mm -hmm. Today, you cannot, you, you can't even wash with it. Less, it doesn't qualify to be called no, fresh no, water no, no. again. You can't, no, no, it doesn't. Wow, it's 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 now muddy. Yeah, you would, you can't even wash it. How much more drinking it? Look, I went to speak to people in Otopo, and they said they cannot even go to the river to fetch any water. Now they have to rely on wells, and even the wells and boreholes, they don't have enough. So for for communities like uh, Otopo, Eusejo, uh, Freti, they are now going through water crisis. And, and if we say that we are going to allow these people to go through the crisis and not deal with it, we should. But Raymond, I should also say that whilst the, we are asking the president to act, look, when I go to these communities, it is the people in the community that lead these people to go and do what they are doing in the railroad bodies. Mm -hmm. So if they should shoot anybody, and you say because of that, I'm going to vote for Google. I mean, do your worst. Because then, we are at a point where we cannot watch on for these people to keep on doing what they are doing. And it is so worse. And it is so terrible. You know, mm -hmm. There are nine mil 19 million people on the voters' roll. That's true. No matter the estimation you put to illegal mining, mm -hmm. they cannot be more than five million. So you cannot convince yourself mm -hmm. that the five. I mean, yeah, I mean, this is the highest estimation you can put to mm -hmm. it. And I'm adding all the linkages and the communities linked to it in mm -hmm. any way. Look at the regions with the huge numbers mm -hmm. and the areas where the huge numbers are. The cities and the areas adjoining areas where the huge numbers are. These are all the areas that people are carrying out to mm -hmm. what they call legal mining. Mm -hmm. So effectively, if the people will, are willing to condone the act, 
because of their temporal reprieve yeah. or getting some small money from it. Mm. Because they don't care about their own children and children. No, 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 they are not. Because, and sometimes I, 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 I sense the level of ignorance with which our people behave. Mm. It's a country where we are struggling to get, uh, and let's not get it wrong. If we move out of Akai and Kumasi, mm. 90% of the people cannot get access to dialysis care. Mm. Oh, I mean, of course. Imagine. We all so you think the, about the, it. The, you know, yeah. And you are worsening your state with your kidneys. Yeah. So that at mm. the end of the day, mm. when you go and consume these waters, apart from the future dangers, mm. next two, three, five years, you have all of these problems with your kidney. Your, your money can't sustain you. Sometimes you, know, yes. you spend all the money on this. Yes. Thing. And you might no. not even be in a position to travel outside the country like your colleagues do. No, 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 no. So no. It, is, it is shocking. Mm. But... If the executive president is mindful, mm. I'm sure there'll be pressure on him. I've seen people say that he's asking for more time and that he's uh, uh, engaging the people. Mm. I feel that the best time for him to have actually done these things was during the September 11 when they issued that statement first one. Mm. I feel that he took them for granted. Okay. And that's poor calculation on his side. Mm. That if he was mindful mm. of the impact, and they stated it, strikes, uh, Protest mm -hmm. culminating into a strike. A strike. And but, it, but, but, immediately but, but, they but, give that mm -hmm. indication. Mm -hmm. It is incumbent on you, the executive mm -hmm. lead, not forming some committee, which is instead of doing the work, mm -hmm. rather pretending that we are engaged the people so that they'll fix the problem. But that, that's where I was coming to. Yeah. That you formed a committee to try and do something before that. <laughs> no, Isn't no, a part of no, the. No, 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 no. You formed a committee okay. of ministers sir, to sir, try sir, to sir, deal sir, with sir, the situation. Sir, sir. But isn't that why he has those people around him? When you form your committee, mm -hmm. you come to the people, except mm -hmm. you disagree with what they are demanding. Mm -hmm. You come to the people and tell them that, sorry, we may not be able to do a state of emergency now. Mm -hmm. What we can do immediately is make sure mm -hmm. that we will draw all of those licenses. I agree. No matter the cost to us as a state. I agree. It's a signal that, mm -hmm. and I'm not so sure, mm -hmm. that Labour would have said, oh, the president took a bold step, mm -hmm. and we are still insisting on it. Mm -hmm. It is because, effectively, mm -hmm. We put the fortunes of party ahead. Mm -hmm. No, no, don't touch those things. Mm -hmm. If you do, it has replications. In fact, MPs, some MPs are standing in the corners. Some standing in their hometowns. Some standing in court. Even, and the worst part is that some of the MPs, even when they talk about what I'm saying happening, when they are MPs, they are not what I'm saying happening. Mm -hmm. you, you see how terrible this is? Mm -hmm. Where they are members of parliament, they may not be what I'm saying happening. And yet... They are very happy telling other people, that, oh, yeah, 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 let's go ahead and do it. Mm. So effectively, if there was proactivity on the side of the Government. republic, mm. we will not be having a time where you are racing against time, time. to now try and uh, get them to listen. Labor, and uh, there's a lot dependent on them, mm -hmm. is whether they are going to protect the vegetation or listen to sweet words. Okay. Because, you see, if government wants to do Real action. Mm. Since Labour declared two days ago, government would have come out to the press statement. But what if government, also in this meeting, presents them a blueprint that they think is workable? I don't even think that they should take it. Ah, why? You know why? 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 Uh -huh. yeah, the people you're engaging, mm -hmm. it's almost as if let's do everything to buy time mm. and let it be after elections. See, the agency with which you and I consider this national crisis mm -hmm. with respect. I've not seen the same agency being exhibited by the people who are supposed to fix it. Couldn't it, could, could, couldn't it, you know why it's couldn't it be the them? case that they are, they are also using some strategies they think could work for them? With respect, if they are using strategies they mm -hmm. think could work, they'll be telling the labor people mm -hmm. early enough and they'll come back and say, well, they will not declare a strike. Oh. Okay. When we went into the meeting first with those ministers, mm. they did twice. Mm. Hope you get what I'm trying to say. They told us that they're hard, they are working very hard on this. And at least we've seen evidence here, there, on the same thing. Mm. The things they're asking for are not in the bedroom things. Mm. They're asking to do things that can be seen. I hope you get what I'm yeah, yeah. So if today, government of the Republic of Ghana had deployed military to any of these areas, it will be visible to our own eyes. Let's not get it wrong. Mm. We used to launch our military campaigns. Vanguard, yeah, Gallant Stop, yeah. Ah, we used to go and yeah. do big time yeah, launching. Yeah, 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 the big yeah. men they will hold their guns yeah. away. Yeah. Then you are afraid in those bushes that they are coming. Uh -huh. But if you don't want to even do the gymnastics related to that, mm. I mean, show proof 
that you are bent on cracking the whip on that. But Raymond, all that you heard these people say, including the Minerals Commission, but who lose money? Who we'll lose a lot of money? But almost as if the lives of the people should come number two to the money that we'll get. In any case, they say the money cries not going to the right sources. Mm. So who is losing the money? I, I'm also, who in I, this country is losing the money? I, I'm also thinking that could it be that maybe they are taking cues from the you know the operations in the past you mentioned vanguard and all of that and how probably hasn't no. really helped us and throughout to... history mm -hmm. if you allow mm -hmm. illegality to fester against roots nobody's saying that you can wake up one day mm -hmm. and it's almost unreasonable to expect that to can wake up one day mm -hmm. and declare fatwa and everything ceases mm -hmm. but there's action that always shows that and sometimes consistency. yes consistency too so if a police commander in the district is known to be an active member of instead of fighting crime, promoting it. crime, mm. it is only sensible that we know that this guy has been removed or replaced. Mm. I hope you get a point. Yeah. Those things, see, let me tell you what real action sounded like. Mm. We have sacked mining inspectors. We are all in the known. Including the guy who was drunk on the job when if but how mm. could that mean? Mining inspector found drunk on the job. How can he be the guy? fighting on our behalf mm -hmm. we have actually declared a ban on small scale mining when we did so for the period that we are talking about mm -hmm. we also went into a conversation say we are going to train regroup and get them those things yes. done. you mm -hmm. see the point yeah those ones they sent signals even if they did not mean it but this time out there is a certain oh no let's just keep quiet on this guy i'm saying thing. oh it's all a battle for all you check body language but the minister spoke to you the, the minister, yeah, you are saying that when he's fighting the TV, his own party people are angry. I mean, how is that response? But, but again, uh, I, it's almost like, oh, I've given up. Oh, so if you want to do it, ah, uh, do you get my point? Mm. The guy tells us that when he's fighting the thing, his own party people are angry, and that the regional ministers are also complaining. Regional minister sets a champion, told everybody in this country that he took some uh, police officers when he went there. The guy said people were more under his people, so they backtracked. Is this something that requires another set of police officers? I mean, seriously. But that's why. That's no, 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 no. We are we... telling you that. Ah, but you have given you money. I put uh, you in place. Mm -hmm. Face the problem. You are telling me, oh, this fight is a very difficult fight for all of us. When we try, we fail. So, is that an indication to me that you mean it? No, no. Let back the it, president. It is. Let back the press. No, but the Go president has not even indicated. No, see, mm -hmm. as we speak, mm -hmm. President Kufuor has not indicated he's willing to Probably go. Probably is thinking that he is a human rights lawyer. <laughs> and therefore, if you ask that, you should go ahead and show like, oh, oh this you is the you know, you know, right Oh, I'm with saying respect. That maybe he's thinking about oh, the human ja, ja, ja. thing, and then maybe if you ask that, they should go and kill yeah. people. Will say, ah, but you're the one who when, who's a human rights lawyer. Abu, when yeah. Abu mm -hmm. became minister for lands and natural resources, mm -hmm. some of us said, yes, you are fighting illegal mining, but the law gives directives on what to do with the how they call it uh, seized equipment mm -hmm. and not uh, blowing them up or setting them on fire. Mm -hmm. When we said that, what was the response? Desperate time demand desperate measures. Yeah. This time around, they're not even interested in desperate time demanding desperate measures. This time around, it's, they are explaining to us, oh, we just try this. It didn't work. We also tried this. It didn't work. The people to fix the problem mm. are more interested in explaining the problem. And sometimes defending illegal minors in ways that doesn't even make sense. Yeah. Mm. So you get my point. Yeah, yeah. So it, it's almost as if mm. we put you there, do what is right. Now you are tired. Yeah, so you're explaining. So, yeah, you're explaining. <laughs> yeah, you try, right now, academic people on the team. You are explaining the problem. Problem, state, state, problem statement. Mm. You are giving us all the dynamics of the problem. What is the solution? Mm. Then you say we need to think that's why we are trying all other options. What is the option you are trying? Oh, we are looking at how best we can. And it becomes mere talk. Yeah. It's been almost a month. Mm. And when we said we are formed this interministerial, it was on the 13th. Yeah. And we announced it. Yeah. Show we, proof. We, we have not even. No, seriously. Have, show proof have, of have that yes. any of them. Any no, of them. we haven't heard from yes. them. That's also, but you, see, you know, an, another least, big issue. Yeah. We addressing the people yeah. Yeah. that we have deployed, that we have arrested thousands. I, I think uh, the president should have instituted his uh, fellow Ghanaians thing. Yes, you know, true. Every, one of those every weekend, yes, and he rally supports. You know, yeah, at least some do it should be heard. Yes, mm -hmm. yeah. But the president stayed away from it. In fact, when he goes to talk at places where uh, people deliberately throw jab in his direction by from illegal mining. I bet will swear it. And the two examples I gave, Bar Association event. Mm -hmm. The Bar President asked him to act. President swerved the matter. He talked about free SHS. He told the people to go and put their children in private schools if they want to pay for uh, secondary education. Mm -hmm. But the issue about illegal mining, 
President Akufa did not touch on it. Again, give the opportunity. But do you want, do you want him to just speak or you want him to act? No, seriously. Mm -hmm. we are not, but what are you going to tell us? You are telling us what they are doing, right? Uh -huh. Maybe he, what he's doing, he feels that when he tells you, Oh. Like that I'm saying, so run away. So hold on. So he won't so tell you. He will the president has deployed mm -hmm. Nicodemus officers in this country. Who, when I'm traveling from here to Kau, mm -hmm. I see people engaging in illegal mining. They are not able to fight it. Yeah, that's right. right. So that's not that's people can see them. Yeah, but we need some uh, hiding people. Yeah, ah, yeah, come on. That, that's true. Ah, that's my source. It's an impunity. Yeah. And yeah. you are afraid. Then see, exactly. today, mm -hmm. they are threatening politicians with political power. Tomorrow, they will threaten the entire law enforcement institution. We have to take over the country. We have to end it now. The, the the president i think should leave this legacy he should send in the military to do like i say it's unpopular about Ghanaians. let's take this we have been speaking for the past how many years mm -hmm. and this has been there for so long right we've been speaking talking it is not solving it let's just say we declare that we are at war go and shoot and kill people and let's see if that won't also work then we know that look we've tried it already didn't but me, I always believe that if we shoot to kill people on the river bodies, it will solve this. Once the president is going to revoke that, that uh, yeah, like uh, LI, exactly, that permits mining in forest yeah. reserves, we should go and, and do shoot to kill on the river bodies, tackle it from the through plunge. And I tell you what, we'll clear the people from the river bodies. People will be, because I, why should I go and die? People will think about their life more than the money they're going, because you don't know whether you get money on the day that you're going or you'll be mm. killed. Mm. people will think twice before they go onto the river bodies that will help us and then you revoke that ally so that people won't mine on the uh, in forest reserves if you want to mine in the forest reserve then of course you put a caveat do you think they will back down you, do you do think they'll go for the strike or they'll back down they'll, they'll go for the strike really yeah i'm not sure they'll back down are you sure yes yeah, they will oh, this down. is the republic of ghana oh, well a but, lot of but conversations you, can but, happen but you could see the indication yeah. on their faces now mm -hmm. that it's not likely they'll back if they back down then of course they have been shown a certain blueprint that we'll they believe told us, in it. We've been told us mm -hmm. that they are our last hope. That's what I'm saying. That if they should back down, then of course they've been shown a certain blueprint that they believe this is workable, that we are not aware of. Eh. Yes, yes, yes. They, 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 they didn't ask for blueprints. You made specific demands. They are saying, I have seen blueprints. So. Oh, but like they say, it only... Oh, sorry. If they, yeah, if they yeah. go and see blueprints and they change their mind, uh -huh. they should be equally be removed. The, the leadership of the army, they should be removed. By, by why? Uh, I remember that group went to say. So, so, when they, so when they see as I am still so scared from the fact that they are representation on the state board. They pretended they did not know that they are selling hotels. <laughs> Only for us to come and complain the little they say, hey, we are taking charge. So, see, I mean, our people sometimes <laughs> can be funny. Really? Yeah, I'm still so scared from the fact. This man. Anyway, Men uh -huh. are the ones who are putting our destiny in their hands. Uh, but why? Uh, they are the ones we can look up to because they, are the, they have the, the numbers, right? Okay. Because of change. And they say they want to see change. We don't want to be broken out from them. We will we'll get to know whether they are backing out <laughs> or not <laughs> by close up today. All right. So certainly, we should be able to do that. And mm -hmm. next week, when we come back, we will evaluate whether or not. <laughs> but next week, Thursday, would have been after the declaration of the strike. Oh, if, right. if there's no intervention. Yeah. So today is our third. So... Mm -hmm. We are looking possibly yeah. at a yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Exactly a week from today uh -huh. will be the day that if nothing changes, we should expect the strike to be commenced. I wish the president by then would have announced that we are taking the military onto the river bodies to shoot to kill. I'm only waiting for that. Look, people who don't understand it, I've lived in these communities that have been battered by by Galamse, yeah. and I'm saying to you that on the river body, if we don't do shoot to kill, it'll be difficult. No, 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 go. Well, we should do it. That's it for today.